Who's that Pokemon? It's JK. You thought? And you thought. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making a Snorlax cake. A Snorlax cake! This cake is a beast. I had this cake idea in 2015 and I'm finally doing it, so I'm excited. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is bake two nine inch chocolate cakes. Look at my Vanna Wyden skills, they're on point. So I'm gonna take off the top of this cake and just level it out. Then I'm going to create two equal layers. Each layer is about three fourths of an inch thick. For the second cake, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, except I'm going to keep that top layer of cake because Snorlax is Bad as hell. And we're gonna need that slope for his tummy. I'm adding some icing onto my cake board and then placing on my first layer of cake. I'm soaking this in chocolate simple syrup just to add a little bit more sweetness and make this like ultra moist. Then I'm gonna add some vanilla buttercream and sprinkle on a little bit more of that simple syrup. I really wanted this cake to just be like as gluttonous as possible. Spread it out using my offset spatula. And as a wise man once said, another one. And wait for it. Another one. And another one. Another one. You smart. Used loyal. <laughs> DJ Khaled and Snorlax have like the same body type. <laughs> now I drew this template of Snorlax body. I'm gonna place it on top of my cake and just cut it out using a serrated knife. Now this is really messy because there's a lot of buttercream and the cake is like super soft. But I really wanted the inside of this to be like super fattening because he's big as hell. <laughs> Cake is terrible for you guys. Don't eat it every day. And don't let them lie to you. Muffins are cake. I saw it in a movie. Just pull away the excess and I'm sorry for the mess you guys. There's just buttercream everywhere on this countertop right now. Now for his head I created a six inch dome cake and I also have a stencil that I drew. I'm gonna place it on top and then cut it out using a paring knife. I'm just gonna pull away the excess and then place it onto my cake stand. After I cut out the shape, I ended up just cutting off Snorlax's ears. I really wanted to make sure that I got the shape of his face right and it would be easier to do that without the ears. And then I just started carving. Now his face and his body are super round because he's really plump, this guy. So I just rounded off all of the edges. I'm not really used to carving cake, so this process was super stressful. And the whole time I was doing this, I was just like the most unsure I have ever been. Just, am I doing it right? Did I cut off too much? Is this, oh my God, I'm just gonna have to wait till the end. Now after I finished his face, I did the exact same thing to his body. And now if you notice, his body is easier to work with because I placed it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to set up. That way the buttercream has solidified a little bit. I'm just rounding off the top of the cake as well as the bottom of it. You really wanna do the bottom so his body doesn't look like it's just flat on the ground. After I did that, I gave him a crumb coat. You just make sure that the crumbs don't appear on the final layer of buttercream. And while I was doing this, I was actually watching this documentary on Netflix called Daughters of Destiny. Holy moly, it's good. So the documentary follows this school in India that takes kids from low-income families. They pay for the kids' education from elementary school all the way up to university. It's so powerful and it made me cry. Go watch it, guys. Dude, all I do is watch Netflix when I bake. Now, after I did his body, I just did the exact same thing on his face. And I thought this was gonna be easier because it's smaller, but it's actually harder because, I mean, you're dealing with a smaller shape, but your offset spatula stays the same size, so. It wasn't working for me. Now these two went into the fridge for two hours and I finished watching the documentary. So good you guys, watch it, Netflix sponsored me. Now I took both my cakes, placed them onto my cake board, and then I added on the ears and I actually took the cake and turned it into cake balls and just stuck them onto the buttercream. And they just stuck because the buttercream was super cold. Now I rolled out some charcoal gray fondant. Now you're gonna need a piece that's large enough to cover his entire body. and just started to flatten and smooth it out with my hands. Now 
And I'm using some flannel tools to make sure that it's tucked under his body so it doesn't look like it's just flush with the ground. Then I cut off all the excess with an X-Acto knife. Rolled out a little bit of more black fondant and repeated the exact same process with his head. Just cutting it to size and making sure it looked like Snorlax. This guy's too big, man. He stay big. Now I'm rolling out some beige fondant, super thin, a lot thinner than the black. And I'm just gonna take a paring knife and cut it the shape of his tummy. Just remove the excess and place it on top. I'm actually using a little bit of vodka to make sure that it sticks properly. And then just cutting away the excess by his neck or where there's supposed to be a neck. I don't actually think that there's a neck there. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with his head, um, but instead of freehanding it, I drew out a template that's the size of his face. Cut it out and place it on top and then just cut and mold it until it's perfect. Now to create his arms, I'm rolling out with some charcoal black fondant into an oval shape. Now I'm gonna cut off one side of it to make sort of like a teardrop. Now I'm just gonna stick this onto the cake where his shoulder would be and create that fat arm. Yo, if this were real, this baby would jiggle like crazy. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other side, except this arm's gonna be bent and just resting over that belly. Now I created some fingernails or claws out of white fondant and I'm just placing five of them onto each of the hands. To create his feet, I'm rolling out some beige fondant and I'm just going to flatten the middle part of it and then add some toenails using some white fondant. And I'm just going to stick this to the bottom to create his feet. Now we just have to do his face. I rolled out some pink fondant and I'm just cutting it out to create his tongue. I'm going to attach this to some red fondant and then freehand a mouth shape. Kind of looks like a rounded trapezoid. And if you notice, I added two tiny teeth with a little bit of white fondant right when I stuck it on. Now for his eyes, I just took a little bit of black fondant and cut out two rounded lines. And I just attached them to his face with a little bit of vodka and we're almost done. I didn't want Snorlax to just be sleeping on like a cake board. I wanted it to look like he was sleeping in grass because you always find Pokemon in tall grass, right? So I took some coconut shavings and just dyed them green and sprinkled them around his body. He reminds me of this homeless man who I saw sleeping in a park and he was only wearing his underwear. So this kind of looks like him. And there you have it, Tosh Snorlax's cake is done. He's super fat, he's super adorable. Big boys need love too, and I love this guy. Now I don't know if you know this, but the reason I started baking on YouTube was kind of because of Snorlax and Pokemon. I created some Pokemon cakes and I thought it'd be really cool to just shoot them. You know, pulling focus, trying to see what camera movements looked good. That was the beginning of this. Freshman year? Senior year. Look at that, buddy. I can't believe how far I've come. You know, I used to be like super terrified of fondant and now I'm only like just a little bit. If you want to see some more awesome Pokemon cakes, I've got some here. I've also got an entire playlist of Pokemon cakes, treats, and cupcakes. Do I have cupcakes? I don't think I have cupcakes. I'm sorry guys, I was, I misspoke. But I do have another freshman and senior year picture. Freshman year, senior year. Now I'm curious, do you guys have any freshman versus senior year stories? It has nothing to do with school, but progress. Something that you do that was once very sloppy, but now is just perfect. Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you turn on that notification button. Is it over here? I'm guessing it's there. Um, or there. That way you can see all of my progress shots as I'm making the cakes because I post pictures in the community tab. I love you guys. Peace!